Hi! In this video, we're going to create the user structs. Let's create a models module. Add it to the main file, mod models, then create the mod file inside the models folder. We will expose the public mod user and create the user file. And inside that, let's create a public user struct and define the same attributes as our database table. A public ID of type UID, let's import it, use from UID, UID. Then a public attribute username of type string, email as string, the password hash as string, the full name as an optional string, the bio also optional string, and the profile image as well. Now the timestamp values create add as a naive date time, the same with the update add, and let's import naive date time. Use chrono naive date time. Also from Serdi, import serialize and deserialize. And from the validator create the validate macro. We are going to read from the database, store the data into this struct, and return it in the API call as a JSON. So I will add the macros that will generate or derive the code to serialize the struct with Serdi. And to convert a row we get from the database to this struct, I will use SQLX from row. I also want to separate the actions I can do, like creating an user versus updating the profile information. So let's create a public struct new user. And when I create this new user, I only want to pass the username email and password. Then another public struct update profile where I can pass the optional values like the full name, bio and profile image. When I serialize the data, there may be some fields that I should not show like the password hash. So I can mark it with the macro serdi skip serializing. For new user, I want to derive the code to deserialize and also validate the user input. To validate, we are using the validator create and to make it work and have the macro available, I need to go back to the main file and write extern create validator derive and on top of that specify macro use. Now back to the users model, the error is gone. I will do the same for the update profile, derive deserialize and validate. Let's also add debug for all of them, user, new user and update profile. Okay, so what exactly means to validate the struct? The validator grade let us define the rules to validate each field on the struct using macros. For the username, we can validate, for instance, the length that should be at least three characters. We do that specifying mean equals to three. For email, we need to validate that it is a valid email address. For the password, we could also validate the length or even do something more complex, like checking that it includes numbers and characters with different cases or calculate the strength of the password. But for now, let's stick to the length to make it simple. Then for update profile, the image, for simplicity, we can validate that it should be an URL. The idea is that when we receive this data in the handler, we can call the function validate and it will validate each field with the rules we define. If everything is okay, we go ahead and create the user or update the profile. Otherwise, we can return a detailed error response to the user. Cool. 